Okay, we're live. <laughs> this is so awkward. I so did this wrong. Wow. God. Hey there. All right, I'm trying to share this. I fucked this up so bad. Hang on. Uh, oh, my God. There's one of you. How fun. Should I try to share it on um, Instagram? Now there's nobody watching. Fucking great. All right, share. Um, copy link. All right, we got two people watching. <laughs> I did this so wrong. This is so bad, you guys. I'm so sorry for this clumsy bullshit. Yikes. All right, hang in there. Hang in there. Uh, all right, now we got all of two people. All right, Smokey. I'm not, we're not doing that shit. Let's go. Um beautiful Tuesday morning. Hey guys. Um, Just started today's episode of Pivot. Uh, I'm going to give that a listen. Um, And uh, yeah, with my two dogs, one wants to drag behind, the other one wants to plow forward. Both, I think, are joined in a conspiracy to pull my fucking arm out of my socket because I cannot recall honestly one moment where each of them were interested in anything within the same six foot circumference they're always like I want to go here I want to go there like oh Jesus Um, just checking in I gotta go to Connecticut tomorrow I always get I just I hate the prospect of traveling. I don't like leaving the dogs. Like I don't love yeah. I gotta go do a project tomorrow and Thursday. So I'm gonna be gone for two days. I don't again, I don't like leaving the dogs at all. It's not my favorite. It's interesting how like Everything is so not in New York anymore. Nobody's doing anything in fucking New York anymore. Everyone's in L.A. And then there was the exodus to Florida. Or everyone's in a Hampton. But, like, like, is anybody in the fucking city anymore? Jesus. Like, am I the last one? Everyone's leaving. I'm just like, great. Go. More for me. I'll stay here. But it's interesting. People always say, I love New York. Like, yeah, from a from a long distance and in short durations. Yeah. So I'm one of the few people left who actually still likes it here and not just talking about liking it. I actually like it so much. I live here. I know it's so weird, (laughs) which is great. There's a lot, you know, more for me, but at the same time, like there's no one to play with. Like I've everyone's doing their own thing. Everyone's all paired off. Somewhere else. Everyone's somewhere else. And I got no one to play with. So I just, that's why it's me and the dogs. That's why I do a podcast called Han Solo. Because I do every, every fucking thing by myself. Um, yeah. Uh, all right. Anyway, beautiful morning. It really is a nice fall morning. And again, I have two dogs who are in very different pages. Lenore wants to just keep plowing forward and Smokey just wants to go slow and sniff every leaf on every bush. Lenore, you're not in charge, girl. Um, so, yeah. That's it, really. It's Tuesday. Which means we have another gorgeous day. There's another episode of Pivot. What else comes out on Tuesday? I don't know. Anyway, that's all I know. Anybody else got anything? No. All right. 
There's really not a cloud in the sky. It's amazing. Um, it is gorgeous. No humidity. It's just a really nice day. The way the good Lord intended. I found out recently, I just saw this list of people in my hometown, Cleveland, or near Cleveland, who are supporting, like they're going to this uh, party to support J.D. Vance. It's all these fucking boring rich people. Um, but they have money and they have influence, but again, just like boring rich white people. Um, in support of J.D. Vance, and I just kind of go like, fucking really? Like one dude I went to high school with is on this list. Because somebody posted on Twitter. Um, somebody posted on Twitter this the invitation at D, Jimmy and D Haslam's place. The, Jim, the Haslam's own the Cleveland Browns. As if the whole idea isn't disappointing enough. These people in this list of like you know people who want their name on the invite because they just. They want to be associated with the winning team, and we're with the we're with the we're with the in crowd. It's like, no, you're not. JD Vance. These are all the not cool people ever. Ugh, boring. Oh, very disappointing. No helicopters today. Well, give it a minute. Yeah, someone just said J.D. Vance, question mark. Exactly. Like, J.D. Vance? Like, this is your guy? Ugh. But again, someone on Twitter floated this. It's in my feed because I retweeted it. Uh, talking about how, you know, disappointing it is to see, to actually know some of the people on this list. And I just kind of go like, uh, this is the team you're on? Oh, no wonder Ohio is so far behind. It's no wonder Ohio is so far behind when you got bullshit like this. So gross. Good God. Like these really dull, uninteresting, crispy, dusty, soda cracker white Republicans who either get it sprayed on or they get that Florida tan once a year. They get that Florida tan. Oh, God. Uh, yeah. The guy you want to vote for, if anybody from Ohio is watching this, we don't have a lot of people watching it. Hearings resume tomorrow, so there's that. Yes, I will be out of town and not able to watch it because I'll be working, which is good. <sighs> anyway. Um, anyway, the good news is that Scott... Scott Galloway's book is out today. His new book called Adrift, America in 100 Charts uh, is available starting today. I recommend it. Uh, I've read a couple of chapters from it. Uh, when recording his new uh, No Mercy, No Malice podcast, which comes out every Saturday. We've read a couple of chapters from it. And, uh, you know, Scott's a smart guy. His team is a smart, insightful crew. So pick up your copy of Adrift. Lenore, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Seriously, stop it. Stop. Thanks. Um, so pick up your copy of Adrift, which you can get on Amazon, of course. Adrift, America in 100 charts. Yeah. All right. I'm out of here for now. I'm going to listen to my podcast. Q. <laughs> we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for tuning in. All right. We'll do this again tomorrow.